Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm so glad you uh, tuned in to see the craft that we're going to make to go with our story, Katie's Picture Show by James Mayhew. Uh, the craft I wanted to do today is going to go along with the last painting in our book with the modern American art um, genre that we've been talking about. And we're going to do something that's done with construction paper or with paint. And this is something that uh, young kids really excel at doing. They're really good at shapes and cutting and crafting. So this is something that's really up their alley. And it can be anything that they want it to be, which is what makes it kind of exciting. Um, I did two examples here. One we did with construction paper. We did a um, construction paper animal. Can you guess what it is? Um, if you guessed the duck, you guessed correctly. Um, in this kind of artwork, it doesn't have to look exactly like an animal um, shape per se. You can make it as geometric as you like. Um, and on mine, we also made it a little 3D with the uh, things that pop out. Um, and we cut up shapes and yours can look any way you'd like it to look. And then we also did one with paint splatter. Um, this is a whole different genre within the modern American art. They call this um, kind of artwork physical art because quite often it requires you to do something physical to produce it. Um, like piercing a paint can and letting it drizzle and dribble over your canvas. Or um, in this case, we blue paint onto the paper and then we um, are going to show you how we can smear down on it to create a duplicate print um, or a similar print based on um, our, our model impression. So we'll do that today too. The first one I want to show you how to do though is how to do your construction paper craft. And for that one, you are going to need lots and lots and lots of scrap construction paper, um, which we have lots after all of our other crafts. And then you have to decide what it is that you want to make. Here's the, the scraps that I pulled out. And I thought that maybe since we made a duck on our first one, maybe we could make a car for this one. And how are we going to make these shapes look like a car or a street? Well, I'm going to turn it so it's long ways. And I'm going to make my street first. I cut a thin rectangular strip of blue here. And again, you can do whatever you like, however creative you want to be. I'd love to see pictures of it. So you can either email me at my library email See post at herlibrary.org, or you can post it on our Facebook page. That would be great too. Um, so we're going to put our street down on here, and we're going to add um, a little bit of roadbed gravel to it, just to get our street more looking like a road. But it doesn't have to look exactly like a road again, because remember, here we're just playing with shapes and colors and trying to be as creative as we can be. So we'll put another dot here, and here, and here, and here. That might be easier than individually drawing them all. And I'm alternating whether they go up and down my little half moon circles. You may find that if you're not very good at cutting out circles that you want to use a stamper. You can get these kind of stampers at um, big box stores or at craft stores. And these are really helpful for cutting out your shapes. I've got a circle one, a heart one, and a star one. You can also get... Um, triangles and uh, squares and all kinds of other really great shapes um, to fall in line. So there's all our black for the road. And I thought we could put a tree up here in the distance because, you know, sometimes when you go down the street, you see trees in the background. So all that black half circles I had left me a scrap of black paper that ordinarily I would throw out. But this would make a great tree trunk. So we're going to glue, glue that on there. And of course we need some leaves. So I cut out with my heart stamp some green hearts because those would make great leaves. And we'll put one there and we'll put one on here and we'll put a couple around the top. Again, it's not supposed to look exactly like a tree, but close enough to give you the idea as to what it is that you're making here. Okay, so that would be a tree in the background now. I also thought that we should have a car, and I found another pie wedge shape, just like I did for my duck. And I thought, you know, we could actually make that look like a car. If we flip it upside down like that, it almost looks like the dome of a car. And so we're going to put some glue on here. And we're going to put our car on. And a car is going to need some wheels, right? So I cut out some blue circles and we can put some wheels on. And again, because it's out of shape and out of order and everything else, it's not gonna be on a nice geometric plane like when you drew a car. 
We can put these wheels kind of funky like. This car can drive in any direction. And we could use a nice square piece of um, paper to make like a window or a windshield. Put that in there to represent that. It has a nice color contrast to the yellow there. Plus you have your three primary colors of blue, yellow, and red um, in the front and center of your page. And I thought we could even put together a little stoplight, but we're not actually going to put the colors of the stoplight in it. So put that up here for the car to stop at. And, and we could throw a couple stars in the sky to show that it's either a sunny day or that it is at nighttime that our person is traveling. And then the best part about making art is you get to title it. And I think we could title this one Maybe proceed with caution because it's a yellow light and we're moving slowly, which would be really good for this quarantine time here in Central PA. We are um, in the yellow right now as we wait for um, everybody to get better and for the curve to flatten so that we can move on to green, which would be exciting. So this is kind of a fun project to do. And like I said, with the duck one, I just, um, on this one I made 3D things. I rolled up strips of paper. Um, and then open them up again to make them swirl to look like clouds and blue dots for rain. We, um, we stair-stepped the leg of the duck and we gave him fringe for some feathers. Um, so there's a lot of fun things that you can do. You can be as creative as you want with construction paper. It is a lot of fun to see what your kids come up with and I would love to see your examples. The other one I want to show you to do is our painting one. Um, again, if you have an absolute idea in mind of what you want to do, that does help. But if you don't, that's fine too. Sometimes kids just like to make a mess, right? And then you just want to get out your paint. Um, I recommend that you use um, washable paint because, you know, it's messy. Um, and that's usually what I use is just washable paint. And you're just going to want to dribble some paint here, especially if you have no idea what you're drawing. And then we'll add a little bit of green. Maybe we'll make it look like a little bit of springtime here. And maybe we'll add a little bit of blue here. Maybe a little bit of sky here or whatever it is we're drawing. And maybe just this really pretty color blue because why not? And we'll splash right on there. Now that makes a really big mess because that's a lot of paint. Well, we're going to get even messier because that's what makes it fun. You can take a straw and some water in a dish and you can stick the water in the straw and then cap the top to create some water pressure and then you want to sprinkle water all over your painting. Um, make sure that you've covered your surface and make sure that your kids have got towels on hand nearby um, in case they make a mess. And when you've got enough water on your painting, and then comes the fun part, they get to blow on the painting on the paint to really splatter it. And you're just going to take a deep breath and blow. Oh, I'm going to run out of air here. Now, if you really like your artwork like that, you can leave it to dry. But if you want to make a reverse flipped image, take another sheet of white construction paper and press it down on top and then very carefully press down on the paper and you'll notice that the paint and the moisture will steep up through and then you want to very carefully peel it off and ta-da! You have an example replica and if you want to be really crazy then lay it down in another way and press down on just half of it and peel it back and now it's getting really funky. And then you do the same thing on this side and press down to absorb the paint and then lift it up. And as you can see, that leaves kind of a um, smeared kind of textured look to your paint. Um, that looks really kind of cool and creative. And you can just let that dry. And again, you can come up with a really fun name for this. Maybe you can Call, this one looks like it might actually be flowers exploding from the ground in springtime. So maybe you could call this one spring flowers. Um, and this one, maybe that's an Easter egg. Um, whatever you'd like to call your artwork makes it uniquely yours. 
So I hope that you guys enjoy having fun and being creative with construction paper and glue and with paint and different techniques that you can do to have a lot of fun creating your own modern art. And maybe you can even bring it to the library eventually and we can have our own little art gallery to explore from all of your great artwork. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.